Hi, Beverly Monocle here, and I'm so excited to start this 10,000 steps a day challenge. Now, many of you have been watching me on Twitter, on Facebook, and I've been talking about getting your pedometers. You know, these little things that you clip to the side of your pants that count how many steps you have. I've been telling you to get one because we are going to do the 10,000 steps a day. I've been starting. Have you? I'm telling you, if you get out there and get moving, and if you get those 10,000 steps in every day, the fat's just going to fall off of you. That is, if you're also eating a great, healthy diet. All of those work together, you know, calories in versus calories out. But walking, walking is so good for you. Now, I'm going to challenge everybody to join my Facebook group that's 10,000 steps a day to a healthier, smaller you. If you go to my Facebook page, you can find it and join. And then together, every day, we can tweet or on Facebook put down how many steps we had. And then we're accountable to all the people in the group. Then it will make us probably try harder to get those 10,000 steps in every day. This is so important. Now, some of you may be thinking, how am I going to do that? I work. I sit at a desk. Stop whining. you got to be creative. One thing you can do, as soon as you get out of bed in the morning, put that pedometer on and start moving. Except when you get in the shower, always have it right here. And that means every time you move, you get a step. If you're working, find ways to move when you're in the office. One way is you should be drinking a lot of water every day. So use a small cup. So that means you've got to get up and walk to the water cooler constantly to refill it. And then, of course, you've got to visit other areas when you drink lots of water. More steps. And then you have a 15-minute mandatory break every morning and one every afternoon. Walk again. And then if you ever need to tell a coworker something, don't send them an email or pick up the phone and call them. Walk to them and tell them what you want to tell them. At lunchtime, eat, just take it for your hour lunch, eat half of that time, walk the other times. If you're on the second floor or third floor, walk up the steps, walk down the steps, park a long ways away from the front door. There are ways to be created to get those steps in. And then when you get home, there are, of course, you can walk around your neighborhood. You're walking while you're cooking. If you have children, maybe you have to take them somewhere. They have dancing. While they're dancing, walk around the parking lot. Do something instead of just sitting in your car waiting for them. You can do it. I believe in you. I know you can. So let's let's do this together. And I want you to be watching because I'm going to be posting more videos. Some of them I'll make. Some of them I'll find and send them to you because there is a way to get moving. And I'm going to do it because I'm going to be healthy. And I challenge you to do it too and get those 10,000 steps in every single day. And if some days you don't make it, those days will happen. The things will mess up those steps. It's okay because you got the next day to do better. So guys, are you ready? You're going to work hard? You're going to go to Facebook and join my group? You're going to get a pedometer if you haven't gotten one yet? And let's get walking. This is going to be fun. Bye.